Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host, T. How are we all doing today? Today, I'm going to talk about how I'm really starting to see Lil Wayne's influence in modern day music and culture, primarily, of course, in hip hop and rap. So I'm going to start off just with the aesthetics. As time is going on, I think it's being revealed more and more that a lot of these rappers are very feminine. A lot of them are living a double life. Many of them are part of the Rainbow Crew, and that's fine on them, but they're just living, you know, again, a double life. It's the deception that's really upsetting people. And then putting on, like, a persona that they're one way when they're really another. As far as Lil Wayne, I feel like his, um, his style, his aesthetic has really ushered in the degradation of the black man. I talked a little bit about this in my video about Don Tolliver, but I am just going to really dig deep into it because I'm noticing it every single where I go. I'm noticing it in my daily life and I'm noticing it when I'm looking at these new rappers. You know, before Lil Wayne, as far as like huge, huge rappers, there was Jay-Z and Jay-Z kept like a a very like classy you know swagged himself and now they've turned his aesthetic they people now want to make it seem like you know jay-z is corny or whatever and he i don't really like how he is pushing the dreads too now i definitely feel like you know when i think about it he's definitely pushing that agenda too um the very unkept you know look but back in his heyday especially at the peak of his career you know jay-z was the one who was talking about betraying baggy jeans and stuff like that for button-ups and he was always with a fresh haircut you know jay-z used to look clean and fresh and he still looks like he's clean but the the dreads and the unkept hairstyle again is definitely part of an agenda because it's like, oh yes, even a black billionaire is dreading their hair. It's really putting a stamp of approval because if Jay-Z was still, and people think it's a wig, and I don't know if it is or not. I'm starting to think it's a wig too. But if Jay-Z really, um, I think some of it, I think sometimes when it looks a Basque-esque, it's a wig. And I think there are times when he has like full on dreads that are like hanging. I don't know, his hair is weird now. But him pushing the dread aesthetic is an agenda because Lil Wayne is the main person who pushed that with making dreads seem like they were so cool. And again, the tight clothes, skinny jeans, designer clothes, sagging pants, tatted up, grills in his mouth. You know, his aesthetic took the rap game by storm because now all these men have dreads you know black men are on like this big dread situation and that's the main way that men are becoming more feminine our men are becoming more feminine because they're rocking their hair in dreads tight clothes being obsessed with designer clothes and fashion which is kind of feminine and the music is so vulgar i think drill music is kind of a, a offset of a lot of Lil Wayne's music because it's so violent. Um, you know, when you see rappers like Young Thug, when you see rappers like Lil Pump, when you see rappers like Lil Durk and, the, and Lil Baby, the list goes on and on. Gunna, you know, these are all just little clones of Lil Wayne and their music is so vulgar, so, so violent because that's how Lil Wayne's music is. And so now we're dealing with a whole generation of of his little offspring and it has really really been for the detriment of black men because more broken homes have been pushed than ever and crime and everybody wants to be a rapper now disrespecting women doing drugs you know Lil Wayne is the one who really ushered in like this drug epidemic and now we just have a whole bunch of men who want to do who want to who want to act like him who want to promote drugs you know you have future pushing drugs pushing you know um dreads you know it's it's all over the place drugs dreads tats you know all things that don't that scream i don't have a job nobody wants to get a legitimate job everybody wants to rap or trap or scam um so just things that promote low vibrational activity and i've just noticed 
how a lot of that stuff, like it, when, it, when it comes to like prominent figures in rap, a lot of people t- try to compare Jay-Z to uh, Drake or Drake to Jay-Z, but I think it's really, Jay-Z really set, you know, this standard of uh, of rap. He's a, he's a big gatekeeper in rap. He really set, you know, the tone. And then after him came Wayne and then after Wayne came Drake, but we don't have a generation of Drake knockoffs. We have a generation of Lil Wayne knockoffs and they are everywhere. And our men are being sent to jail and, you know, they're just becoming more and more feminine. Drake is definitely pushing his agenda. He's, he's pushing the agenda too with going to jail and being feminine, but all these men look like Lil Wayne. You know, the colorful hair, they're starting to do that. Like, they they are really they really look like Wayne, and I'm really noticing that more than ever. And it's like, wow, you know, he did so much damage to the culture. You know, he really, really did. Like, between the music, again, tats, dreads, drugs, women, he really, really pushed... You know, getting into the rap lifestyle, even rock music. He was pushing rock music, which was another way to just put spells on people and induct people into the occult. Lil Wayne and and Jay-Z, and this is part of their agenda, they get rich by selling out their people and pushing horrible, horrible, horrible things on their people. I really, really hate how the Lil Wayne program ushered in a generation of a lot of junkies and a lot of jobless men who just want to be tatted up from head to toe and get grills in their mouth and all of this stuff is really sick you know I think they had to usher in Wayne because Jay-Z was urging people you know he got married he's with you know a really successful woman and you know he, he really kind of outgrew a lot of that rapper persona but then they needed they needed the cheating scandal to kind of throw some more dirt on there. But I definitely just feel like they needed the Lil Wayne program to keep black people in a low vibrational state. And it has worked because we have a generation of boys that look like they all look like Lil Wayne's kids. And this is what is seen as cool and acceptable. So let's talk in the comments, y'all. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm glad to just be bringing this video to y'all and I will talk to y'all the next one. Bye.